Okay, so introduction. My name is Sarah Parkinson. I'm a children's author and illustrator. I have written and drawn the pictures in two books so far of my series, uh, The Shoe Foxes and Dragonfly Pie. They'll come out backwards to you, but don't worry about that. And um, if you are watching on replay, please feel free to skip forward um, to the different sections of Space Adventures Week, where we'll be learning about writing for stories for uh, Space Adventures. Hello, Caitlin. Hello. Oh, hello, Ro Ronnie's Roosters. Hello, Ronnie. Oh, what else have we got today? We've got, um, got Marianne in. Oh, hello, Annabelle and Poppy. Hello, everybody. Can I have some big waves? Hello. Hello. I've drawn some um, <laughs> some little rockets and put them in the background. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> I haven't got a massive amount of space-related stuff. <laughs> How are we all doing today? Hello, Harriet. Oh, hello, Henry. Oh, ready in his space t-shirt. Good times. Oh, lovely. Who else? Who else? We've got Elena and Mila. Oh, we had some lovely, lovely stuff from Elena, Elena and Mila last week, didn't we? Uh, Isaac and Poppy. Hello. Hello from... Hello, Emily. Hello. Hi, Ronnie. Oh, hello, Harriet. Hi, Zoe. Mwah. Oh, who else have we got? I've got Highwell. Uh, oh, in space pyjamas. I wish I had some space pyjamas. I had a silvery top. I was very excited that I remembered I had this silvery top. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Zoe's already decided on her story, <laughs> Sienna and Connor are here. Oh, fantastic. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, Katie with Lola. Hope maybe. Maybe she's. Um, who else have we got? Um, let's see. Who else have we got today? Justin, hello. Oh, right, are we all getting ready for Space Adventures Week? So, parents, a quick note to you guys. Obviously, there is the need for tea, but I just thought I'd show you as well a little bit of a look into what we might be doing. To, well, what you might want to do today is doing storybooks that open like this. Exciting. I've been using sugar paper, but you can obviously use just normal white paper if you like. Look. And pop your uh, alien or spaceship on the front. So to be able to do that, I just thought I'd quickly show you how to do it. Whilst everyone's getting on and comfortable. So a full sheet of paper. Don't worry, it's just, uh, you don't have to do this along with me, but I just thought I'd do it at the beginning of the live so that you can easily come back to it and check how to do it. So fold it in half and then all you have to do is fold your paper on the sides to meet the middle and you've got yourselves a door. just thought it would be a bit of an exciting way to do our space adventures story. Because then we can still have our beginning, our middle and our end. And maybe like me, if you've got some different coloured paper you could put two together, you just need to fold them fold them both and then pop them together, pop some glue on. So I thought that might be interesting to do. Oh, I'm glad you like it, lovely. Oh, hello from Anthony, hello Tom. Oh, lovely. Oh, good morning Alex and Ben, hello, hello. Oh, we all excited. Right then, we're also going to learn, I've not written this anywhere yet, but we're going to learn how to draw rockets today and I'm going to do it again with the easy medium and well not hard but you know fun to a bit more interesting something to try so let's just have a little rearrange of something that I've got holding everything together there we go um okie dokie so uh grown-ups go and get cups of tea got a starry mug <laughs> Um, and we'll leave me here with the kids. So now there's a few different kind of levels of understanding around this age of space and what it is and um, how it all uh, how it all works. Um, so I just ask for older ones that maybe might know more or you know if you've got some great facts I do want to hear some. Um, but um, bear in mind there are some younger ones watching that maybe might not know so much about space. So I'm going to try and keep it quite inventive and creative today because 
at the end of the day we don't we've not met any aliens yet have we so we don't know what they look like they could look like anything couldn't they i thought that it would be really fun to actually make maybe make your own aliens or just come up with and draw your own aliens um and they could look like anything couldn't they i made an alien last night do you want to see what it looks like my other half is absolutely petrified because <laughs> he doesn't like balloons and it did pop the bottom part of it did pop what do you think about my little alien that i made He's got three eyes, he's got a big toothy grin. <laughs> what do you think? He's got a very stylish, it's a boy, I've decided it's a boy and he's called Alan. What do we think? <laughs> oh lovely, hello Freya, hello Charlotte again. Yes you will be able to watch this on YouTube, I'm a little bit um, behind on putting my YouTube videos up at the moment but they will um, be all up to date by the end of this week I'm hoping and um, so I've got um, a load ready to go up it just takes a lot of time to put these massive videos up <laughs> they're big files to deal with uh, let's have a look oh I'm glad that we like that <laughs> oh Emily Lowe knows all her planets the alien is fab oh, I'm glad you like the alien what could you make at home what have you I bet you've got some bits saved up um, already. I mean, I've like picked up a few things that I ordered, like, I mean, I was quite lucky that I had some glittery things and I've got some glittery card. Maybe you've got some different coloured card. Like I've got some different coloured sugar paper. Maybe you can make something. So this is all about getting creative and thinking about what different aliens we can, planets and things that we can make, make up in our mind. And maybe, maybe they're real. You don't know. We don't know what's out there, do we? Okay then, so, is that after your brother? Yes, my my brother is called Alan. <laughs> I also thought it was a very fun alien name, Alan the Alien. Right, hello from Sister Scarlett and Sophia. Right, okay, we can't, can't spend all morning. Amelia and Benjamin are very excited. Oh, very good. Right, so we're going to do our warm up first. Let's get all shaken and woken up. So first we're going to do, we're going to be astronauts. That's like a spaceman or a space woman astronaut and what we're going to do is we're going to be a rocket we're going to wait okay so we have to put our hands on top of our heads like a rocket and then we have to go ready go we're going to count down and then we're going to blast off up and high as high and stretch as tall as you can are we ready i'm not going to be able to stand up <laughs> but i shall i'll do it from my seat okay i'm going to stretch up ready Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <gasps> stretch up high, <gasps> stretch, 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 up into the sky as high as you can go, <gasps> and then I want you to go down, and now imagine that you're weightless. <gasps> You're in space. Ooh, what, what, how, how do you, can you imagine if you were up in space and you felt as light as a feather? Can you do some moonwalking? Oh, hello, Poppy Miller. Hello, Saoirse. The aliens could have two mouths. Absolutely. Hello, oh is that Hannah and Ted watching as well? Let's do some space walking. Oh, that's the noises that they make inside the spacesuits, isn't it? <laughs> do some big space steps. And it's all quiet, isn't it, up in space? Lovely. Okay, so it's just like a nice, quiet space time now. Shh. Make the most of it, parents. Justin loves the alien balloon. He'll come out in my story. I am to introduce you to him first so he didn't like freak anybody out. <laughs> okay, so that does actually lead us up to my story to get everybody's juices flowing and thinking about their space story. So mine, I'm not going to have to do, take a big deep breath, 
and I want you all to sit and listen however you can close your eyes if you like if it helps okay so I'm going to take you into my space adventure <sighs> slam your feet land on hard concrete Oof. you look up and see a huge rocket your friends are at your side, dressed in large white spacesuits. But then you look at your hand and see huge white space gloves. You're in a space spacesuit too. You're going to go on a space adventure. <gasps> oh, you see a man in a blue uniform march up to you and your friends salute and say astronauts we're depending on you to explore space and find out as much as you can for us back here on earth before you know it you're all bundled into the spacecraft and you see walls lined with buttons and dials of all different colors <gasps> and then there's lights blinking and twinkling like stars. <gasps> so you decide to sit down. <gasps> Buckle your seat belts and ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> the ship rumbles to life. Blast off! <gasps> The noise rumbles with a thunderous roar as you look outside the window. You look at your friends and they're all excited. The rocket shakes as you fly up and up and up, past the clouds, up past the plains in the bright blue sky around you. Then you look down and the trees and the buildings are getting smaller and smaller as you go up and up and up higher and higher, suddenly the noise stops and you realise you're in outer space. The ship flies silently through the black sky filled with thousands of twinkling stars glittering off in the distance. You look back and see our planet below. Ooh. Then the rocket zooms through space, going further and further, and you pass the moon, then Mars, then Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and you see Pluto. Is it a planet? Isn't it a planet? Nobody knows. <gasps> Then you're now going beyond where anyone has ever been. <gasps> and you're going so, so far. And you are space explorers ready to see new places and meet new beings. Ooh, off in the distance, you see a group of planets of all different colors, every color you could imagine. You spot a purple one and you say to your friends that you'd like to go and see that one. So they all agree. So you travel to the planet, the planet purple, and land softly. You look out of the window and you see that there's all different types of aliens. All in different shapes and sizes different colours, different, different types. Some are fluffy, some are spiky, some are rough like sandpaper. So some have eight eyes on wriggling stems. <gasps> Ooh, some only have one eye. <gasps> then some are invisible, some look a bit scary to begin with, some are a bit snarling. <sighs> and snivelling and slobbering and then, then it lets out a big sneeze. <gasps> Achoo! You realise that that alien must have had a cold. 
Oh dear. Now, that was what was making him a bit cranky, I suppose, wasn't it? Some of those aliens have woolly hats and fancy glasses. Then one alien taps gently on our window. Tap, tap. <laughs> oh, tap, tap. <laughs> and he smiles. And he says, hello, we come in peace. Oh, hang on. Don't realise that yet because you realise that you have a translator on your special, your special space watch. What he's saying in real life is, <laughs> so you switch your translator back on so that you can hear what he's saying. Hello, I come in peace. <laughs> My name is Alan and I'm your guide. What would you like to see first? <gasps> wow. <laughs> what do you think? What aliens is Alan going to introduce us to? Have you got some interesting aliens that you've got on the planet that you're going to make? What have we got thinking about? Oh, maybe a robot. Fantastic. The alien's money could be space rocks. Yeah, that could be really precious over there, couldn't it? All the different types of space rocks. <gasps> Ooh, do we want to keep... I'm a bit scared that Alan's going to... Uh... <laughs> he gave he gave my, my other half a bit of a scare last night because he popped in the middle of the night whilst he was sat in here. <laughs> <laughs> He might not be so comfortable with Alan. I'm going to pop him over here. Somewhere soft. Oh, goodness me. So what we want to be thinking about now is... Our beginning. Do, 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 do. Now, the beginning is where we think about our who and our where. Anybody who's been doing my, uh, my workshops before. So... This is the one where you want to put the most thought into and start really getting creative. This is a good bit to kind of start thinking about whilst we're here all together and thinking about all the different things, all the different, what our alien could look like and what our planet could look like. So let's start with our alien. So there's all sorts of different shapes, aren't there, that you could use. So if you drew some different shapes on your piece of paper, if you've got a piece of paper and pen in front of you, um, maybe you can put, draw some circles and some squares and oblong, a uh, rectangle. <laughs> um, you could draw triangles, diamonds, all sorts of different shapes, a big blob, big swirls. Maybe you draw a big scribble all together. Scribble, 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 scribble. Pop some eyes on and some legs. That's your scribble monster. Scribble alien. What, could, what else could you have? Have a little think. This is something where you want to kind of have a little look at what there are. Stars as well. Yeah, lots of stars. Maybe your alien's made up of stars. It's a bright shining star like the sun. Did you know that the sun was a big star? <laughs> a big, big star in the sky. It's true. Ooh, what else could we have? What else could we use as inspiration for our nice alien? Maybe, I mean, we've been doing some stories for a few weeks now. Maybe it looks like an insect. Maybe you use an insect as inspiration, like last week with our garden creatures. Maybe it's got little, now apparently antenna. <laughs> antenna, antenna is one. Antennae are two. <laughs> Maybe it's got little antennae. Maybe it's got lots of antennae. Maybe it's got, and I heard a sort of comment earlier saying maybe it's got two mouths. Maybe it's got three mouths. <gasps> maybe there's one for each one, one for breakfast, one for lunch and one for dinner. <laughs> what other ones? Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like the story. Thank you. Oh, triangle. Yeah, absolutely. What other things could we do? So um, think about all the things that you're going to need your um, 
you're going to need him to have him or her. <laughs> um, you're going to need things that are things that you need. So you need eyes to be able to see, noses to be able to smell. Maybe on maybe the alien's nose is on the back of his head, or on on her arm. Maybe it sniffs with an arm. Maybe it sniffs with its fingers like a butterfly does. Maybe. Um, what other things are there? So we'll need to have mouths. We need to have arms to pick things up. Maybe it picks things up. Maybe it has. Um, maybe it picks things up with its mouth. What else? Maybe so we need to think about tree about uh, about feet. <laughs> oh, you could call this galaxy the Rainbow Cluster. That's a fantastic name for that for that galaxy, isn't it? You can. You should call yours that, Sasha. I love that. The Rainbow Cluster. Some brilliant, brilliant words, aren't they? Come out of the use of state in the space like cluster, astrology, all sorts of things. Stars in the sky. And let's think about the, the names of the planets that we do know about. So there's Mercury, there's Venus, there's Earth, where we are now. Um, Mars, the red planet, Jupiter. Did you know that Jupiter is made up, Jupiter's the biggest one, but Jupiter is made up of lots of different gases. Now a gas is something that you can't hold on to, but it's all kept in there, in its own little atmosphere. That's why it's all swirly, because it's all different gases. If you look at pictures of Jupiter, it's very, very interesting to look at. Oh, Poppy's alien is going to be made of hearts. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, Ronnie's alien is called Owen. I love that. I love that. Oh, just my drink. Oh, I love that. Oh, fantastic. Oh, is Jacob watching now as well? Hello, Jacob. A shapeshifter alien. Oh, yeah, maybe it goes into all different shapes, like triangles and... Maybe, uh, maybe all the different, maybe you make up some new shapes that it can go into, or maybe it can shape shift into a different animals like we see on Earth. Maybe it, maybe you meet this alien and you tell it about the, the animals that are on Earth and it shape shifts into them. Maybe you show it a picture and it turns into, and it shape shifts into a giraffe. Oh, all sorts of interesting ones, isn't there? So we're thinking about our alien and think about the different colours it could maybe you think about now this is where we're going to start thinking about our describing words which are called adjectives so maybe your alien is uh, fluffy maybe it's spiky maybe it's all oh, smooth like metal maybe it's a robot maybe it's all bolted together Oh, let's have a look. Jupiter has a storm called the Great Red Spot. Yes, on the, I see on the side. I, can't, I, my, my spare, I need to uh, refresh. I didn't want to get too much into, into, into all the space knowledge things because I didn't want to end up giving you... I want to hear, hear some space facts from you. <gasps> I didn't want to get bogged down in it. I wanted to get creative too, uh, too as well before I... Uh, started telling you oh let's have a look we have amy the alien here and haribun 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 oh hang on haribun the alien haribun the alien amy the alien and harim the haribun the alien sorry <laughs> if i'm saying that right <gasps> wow what do, does your alien have a special language too like mine <laughs> that's a lot of billa 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 <laughs> but maybe there's two other letters Maybe there's other letters that your alien likes to speak in, like z and b. Zibba 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 zibba. What else could your alien be doing? Ooh. Now we can also start thinking about. I mean, your your story. Um, could also include more information about the planet as well so think about what your planet could look like is it made up of your favorite food you know how they say that the, the moon is made of cheese maybe your planet is made of donuts maybe it's a big donut that, that everyone's living on 
maybe it's just one big blob of milkshake <laughs> think about all the fantastic things that could be on your planet is there a water fountain that's filled with milkshake or maybe there's uh, trampolines that are made of gummy bears or something what interesting things could be being made here. Mercury is half hot and half cold. The, the night side is cold and the day side is hot. Ted told me that. Ooh, that's an interesting bit of a uh, good factoid. <gasps> Hannah's alien is going to be knitting. <laughs> I love that. Little knitting alien. Oh, is it gonna have a is it gonna have a granny name? I have to see what I'm going to call it. Oh, Bob the alien. Gotta have a Bob, haven't we? We've gotta have a Bob. Do we like Alan, my alien? Let's see if I've if got any of the new ones. I haven't seen my alien. <laughs> like the way that I've done the eyes as well. I had, a, I had a white a white marker and a black marker, so I just painted a blue balloon. So maybe you've got some balloons at home to make yours. Maybe you've got some paper that you can use to make your alien. I just think it's quite, quite fun to do it if you maybe wanted a bit of a break from story writing, maybe you wanted to make it. Let's have a look. Oh, Isaac has already drawn his moon alien. Now is it a moon, is it shaped like the moon or is it on the moon? <laughs> I think it, maybe it's on the moon, who knows. Annabelle's alien Amy lives on a bouncy ball planet. I had a really cool rainbow bouncy ball that I was going to show you all. My daughter nicked it before we came in. <laughs> oh, ben has created a pizza rocket with an alien called Cheddar. That's a brilliant, brilliant alien name, Ben. Well done. I'm liking it. Cheddar. Brilliant. Oh, Isla Jones. Is it Isla that's watching? Hello, Isla. My alien is called Swiggle. Oh, that's a good name, isn't it? It's great. It's a great because at the end of the day, it can be called whatever you want it to be, can't it? It can be called anything. You can make up a name completely off the top of your head. Couldn't you? Maybe if you try and say your name backwards, figure out what your name is backwards and write it out and see what it what noise it makes. Maybe that's what your alien could be called. Let's have a look. Did you know that the heat from the middle of the sun takes 3,000 years to get to the surface from scarlet? Ooh, I do love a good fact. <gasps> 3,000 years. Oh, hello. Oh, and Lucy, jo Lucy is watching as well. Hi, Lucy. <gasps> Lovely. Okay, so we've got our... Okay, so let's not leave that there. So we've got our beginning. Let's move on to our middle. So you have to think about what's going to be happening in your space tale. So I'm going to be working with, I was thinking maybe we could work with some interesting different books today and make some stories that were kind of almost like leaflets. What do you think? So you could have your beginning, your middle and your end in there, couldn't you? All on one sheet. Maybe you show your, if we have a look at this one, this one's got a planet on the front of it. Maybe it's a map. Maybe you show a rocket making its journey through space and you write little notes on where it's going and who it's visiting. Maybe you want to think about what the rockets might look like, what the cars might look like. They just like our cars, but with like little jetpacks on the back. They're going to be rockets like I'm going to draw for you today. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, mm, 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 mm. Hannah's alien is going to be pink and red. Ooh, pink like my skirt. Ah, oh, let's see. Um, and we've got Owen the alien's planet is made of chocolate. Can I visit your planet, please, Owen? That sounds... Oh, oh, Owen the alien, sorry. Owen the alien, I need to visit your planet and have some nice tasty chocolate. Hannah has called her alien fluffy. <laughs> we think it will make... Um, we will make aliens from old socks. That's a good idea, isn't it? Oh, 
Because if you had some st old stripy socks or old different different colour, whatever it is that's on there, and then pop some eyes on, you can make it, maybe you can make it have two heads and they argue with each other. <laughs> what else have we got? Um, Alex has a rocket with an alien called, called a Bill. Very nice. Very nice, Alex. Very nice. Bill. Good, good stand-up name, Bill. We have a beach ball rocket over here too. Ooh. Did you know that if you, if you travelled at the speed of light, you could never get old? Uh. <laughs> I'm accepting. <laughs> Uh, an, alien, um, an alien made made entirely of space junk called Junko, love this, who lives on a planet made of cardboard boxes. Ah, you could totally make that alien saucer, couldn't you? Put some put some eyes on there. Maybe it has lots of eyes. Maybe it has eight eyes, like a spider. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so lovely. Fantastic. So think about the middle so what is it going to do so maybe your story is talking about the journey talking about um finding out more about the planet that they live on maybe something happens on the planet i mean it's almost enough isn't it just saying about everything that you know about this planet but maybe something interesting happens maybe there's an interesting twist maybe the space rocket breaks <gasps> Maybe the alien gets ill and you have to find some medicine. Or maybe, ooh, it could be anything, couldn't it? It could just like on here, just like it, something, something so boring that could happen at home. But what happens if it happened on, on an alien planet? Ooh, planet alias -y. is it alias -y? alias -y? Ooh, my planet is made from chocolate and marshmallows Ooh, oh we just need to throw in some biscuits it could be a rocky road couldn't it your rocky road planet but i love the idea of chocolate and marshmallows maybe a hot chocolate mm, all this talk of nice sweets and things is making me hungry oh lovely so then you need to think about obviously your end of your story, how's it going to finish? What exciting finish is going to happen? I was thinking if we, this went on a few weeks, um, I'll come back to space in the future and maybe do about the, um, do another story, another week in the future about um, this alien. So today we're doing about this alien and the alien's planet. I thought maybe in the future we could do about the alien coming home and seeing us and what would happen. A bit like E.T. <laughs> but maybe that another week. I thought maybe we could be able to do space two weeks then. Oh, just, just, just keep doing that. Like a bit of space. Interesting, isn't it? Oh, lovely, jubbly. How are we all getting on? Now, whilst uh, the younger ones perhaps thinking about what their aliens and what their planets might look like i thought i'd just have a moment with the older kids as well so obviously you might know a bit more about space and um some interesting facts um maybe you want to think about um doing stories about things that you do know um, or maybe do just just write maybe something a bit more factual maybe something with more more facts in there or maybe you'd want to do one of these as like a little travel leaflet if you wanted to visit a space planet so maybe one that you know about maybe one you don't know about might be might, might be a little bit interesting if you wanted to visit there on holiday what would be there and um, it means that you can use some more interesting describing words as well, isn't it? If you could you can maybe start thinking of some lots of different ones. Get out a thesaurus. Don't be scared to get out a thesaurus and look up some different words. Younger ones can do that too. Parents parents can help go go and look up some different words that they can use. Some interesting ones. Let's see. Let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. So Poppy's planet is made out of hearts. Lovely. Oh, hang on, I missed another one. Um, we're heading to planet Bluto to collect squishy stuff for the scientists, but the aliens aren't sure about sharing it. <gasps> Have to do a trade then. Have to do a trade. Make it work. I love that Poppy's planet is made out of hearts. I love that. I love that. 
story henry as well it's lovely um my planet is made out of rainbows why not why not i love i love rainbows you know i love colors um you have to find an ancient relic to save the galaxy so oh it's like a, it's like indiana jones isn't it justin's planet aliasi is, is i hope i'm saying that right um is made out of metal sponge and yogurt <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Pick things. Have a look around your room now. A room, the room that you're in. Pick three things completely random that could be in your story. It'll make me laugh. <sighs> Human settlers living on alien planets for the ending, says Sasha. Ooh, that's a good idea, isn't it? Can all kind of go and go and escape there for some new places to visit. Uh, Hannah's planet is a pretty unicorn. We we're waiting for a unicorn to turn up. <laughs> Ted's planet is made from jelly while Hannah's is made from magic. What else do you need? Hey, just a sprinkle of magic. So, um, let's see. What I thought was then, we'll start, we'll, we'll learn how to draw some rockets today. So the rockets that were going up to shoot up into space with space in and this book is called space school Ooh, that's a good idea <gasps> love it okay <laughs> let's see make sure everybody can see get you all rearranged there we go lovely jubbly let's have a look so we are going to draw some rockets. Give me a second to get ready. Okay. So we're going to start. Let's start with the hardest one today. And then I'm going to show you how you can make it easier and easier. I want you to have a go at the hard one. There's nothing hard, nothing, nothing wrong with having a go. Because it's all just different shapes, isn't it? Like your aliens are all different shapes. I want to get Facebook facing that way a little bit more. There we go. Okie dokie. All right, are we ready? Da, 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 da. If you go to Venus, you wouldn't need a lamp and you would die. Oh dear. <laughs> Goodness me. Should have thought about that one before I read it out. Right. Okay then. So, first things first with our rockets. I want you to draw, make sure everybody can see, I want you to draw a circle and in the middle of your paper please. This is going to be the porthole to your rocket. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a circle around the outside of your circle. Ready? Okay, next I want you to draw above your circle about the same width. I want you to draw a line just above it and turn that line into a triangle it doesn't have to be a pointy one I just want it to be a nice nice kind of flatter triangle and then out of that triangle I'm going to draw a little needle <laughs> next we're going to draw a little bit underneath it's like a little piece of metal We'll draw some nuts and bolts later as well, so we'll get on to the rest of our rocket. Now from the bottom of this piece of metal here, can you see where I've drawn some dots? So from those corners, follow, watch me, I want you to draw a nice curvy line just around where your porthole is, going a little lower as well, so like that. And it'll finish 
around the same point on the line as where your circle starts. Does that make any sense? So, same on the other side. There we are. Then, I want you to draw some special parts of our spaceship and they're going to look like lightning bolts a bit. Shall I show you how to do them? So I'm just going to turn the wheel up a bit that way so we can get all that in. So just on the side and I'll show it, it, it first and show you now. There's a few different ways that you can draw them. I'll show you two different ways and you pick which way you want to draw it. So you can either do it as like a shark's fin or you do it like that or you can try it like a little lightning bolt, which is kind of a, kind of make, it makes more of a stand. So two lines coming out to the side. And if you imagine that you draw a, draw a flat line there, they come out to the same point, does that make any sense? And then they meet down at one point in the bottom. Can you see? Draw it again at the other side. So two lines coming out. Should I do it the same? That's a little wonky today. As always. There we go. And then up to a point at the bottom. And we're going to draw another little pointy bit in the middle here because this is the one that's at the front that you can't see the zigzag of. Now if you've done a shark fin one, don't need to do this. You don't even need to do this really if you don't want to. This little pointy one down the middle. Okay, so now that you've drawn that bit, we can draw the bottom of our ship. There's a nice curvy line at the bottom. And then another curvy line line just a bit further up this little sheet of metal there and then we're going to draw some little hatches that we can get into our spaceship you see those can go anywhere really next we're going to have fun drawing some bolts So let's draw some bolts and those are just little circles that you draw around. You see where I'm doing them on our hatch. Where the pieces of metal will go so it's where everything's all been fitted on. So I'm drawing some around my porthole. I'll get you now. somewhere. Saoirse's book is called Infinity and Beyond. Ooh, like Buzz Lightyear. Yusuf's, Yusuf's alien is called Burpee. It is combined of a, is that a tiger and a crocodile? Ooh, I'll tell you what, we've got a little story. Am I okay posting up, um, Yusuf, is it Yusuf's story from, uh, that you've sent me before? Amani, is that okay? Can I can I uh, share that as a bit of inspiration today? Because Yusuf's already sent me a little space story. So I'll draw some bolts and our bit of metal up here. Maybe some on here. And then I think we're going to need to draw some flames coming out of our rocket. What do you think? So if we're drawing flames, think of it as a little leaf. So we draw a little one to begin with, if you've got red. It can be a little bit sketchy as well because it's uh, a flame and they flicker and make lots of movement, don't they? Then you do an orange. If you've got a yellow, you could do a yellow after this, but I haven't got a yellow. <laughs> so you can draw, you can make it flicker a bit. Doesn't matter if you make it a bit of a wavier 
wavy line. I'm going to draw another line because I don't have a yellow, so I won't be able to colour it in. Mm. What do we think of our rocket? Get a bit of colour on here. Let's have a look. I think we'll also need to have some uh, smoke coming out as well. We'll do some smoke on the next one. Show you how to draw some good smoke. Okay, so this one is going to be slightly easier. Are you ready for an easier one? Look at all the colours you can paint your lovely rocket. So this one I'm going to do, let's do it in a bit of blue. It's sad that I've not done more colour. Okay, are we ready? So this rocket is going to have the top of a triangle for the top, can you see? I really need to do it in the black. Okay. And then I want you to do a curvy line at the bottom rather than a straight one like this. Can you see? It's a bit of a whoops line. Always helps if you make the noise. What else shall we have? I'm going to draw... Hmm. Draw the body of our rocket. It's going straight down. And then another curve at the bottom, just the same as the one you've drawn further up. Just going to add some colour, because it makes me sad not having colour on my on my uh, board. Why did I draw it so big then? Hmm. There we go. Get that coloured in. Mm, let's think of a science fact. I was given a science fact by my very clever scientist husband yesterday. That, did you know that, do you know the International Space Station? That is 220 miles up in the sky. That's how far away it is. And that's the same as driving from... Manchester to Glasgow. Interesting fact. I've got another one for you in a second. Let's draw some shark fins at the bottom of our rocket. Maybe I've got spacemen that are sharks. How would that work in space? I don't know. Do have a think. Okay, and then let's draw some portholes, won't we? So they could just be little ones like that, or you could draw a little bit extra. Do mine an extra colour. Okay, they could be different shapes. different colours. There we go. And then I'm going to show you how to do some super cool rockets. So how can we do some super cool jets coming out? Draw some leaf leaves on the bottom. I don't know what happened to my other one. Let's sort that one out. For our flames. And then let's draw some special smoke. You ready? 
good way to draw a special smoke. Ready? So draw two lines and then lots of curly curves underneath it. Are we ready? And then a couple of lines inside. Can you see? I'll do it on the other one as well. Two lines, lots of curly curves that are all on it on the line down, and then some lines. Let's draw it on this one too. What do you think? Oh, super, super spacecraft. And then if you wanted to go super, super, super simple, you can just draw a triangle, a rectangle, a circle, and two triangles on the side. You could draw some. smoke coming out of that as well couldn't you? What do you think? How are we getting on with our spacecrafts? Ted has called his, his planets Jellington and the alien is called Key Master. The Key Master. Love it. Let's keep that on the screen whilst you have a little look. Did you know that the moon is 240,000 miles away? And that's the same as going around our planet, around the bottom of our planet, or around the middle of our planet, sorry, 10 times. That's how far away the moon is. Wow, that's just the moon. That's not even getting into the planets and things. It goes very, very far, isn't it? Or to all these different planets. You have to have a super fast spaceship. Very exciting. So, whilst you're still drawing, I'll uh, say that anyone who is new to this workshop, that this happens every Wednesday, and then I do a drawing workshop for the theme every Thursday as well at 12 o'clock. So uh, tomorrow at 12 o'clock we'll be doing One for Space Adventures where you can get your drawing requ requests in. So uh, I will be putting a post up later with um, um, requesting what you want to have, want, want to be able to draw. Now a bit tricky with this one really because there's lots of different interesting things that people are going to be drawing. So what I would say is maybe if, I mean, I could do it as like a bit of an alien drawing workshop. So maybe um, if you've got lots of like, you know, different types of aliens that are like fluffy or squiggly or, you know, there's different, all these different describing words that you can use. If you tell me what your aliens like and I can see what I can do to try and create those effects with drawings um, and they can see what their aliens might look like. Um, but it's a good opportunity to be able to see what we can uh, what we can draw to be able to get those aliens together. Oh, Poppy wants a five-eyed alien. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe like the one. So my my one that I drew for my uh, book. Where's my little book? Where's my little book gone? It's here. Is it one like this, Poppy? Oops, sorry. Oh, but with three eyes. If you want to draw some interesting different eyes or different arms or different legs and parents if you want to be able to do one of these uh books let's bring you back to me Ooh, hello so if you wanted to be able to do make one of those books very simple piece of a4 paper fold it in half and then, so those folds won't be there, and then fold your edges into the middle, and then they've got a bit of a reveal, a reveal for their book, and they can stick a good picture on the front. 
So you just need to stick it on one side so that both sides can open like this. And reveal something inside a new exciting space adventure. If you've got coloured paper, maybe you'll want to do it like this. Have maybe you want to have it open in that way. What could you do? Want to do visit my exciting planet on holiday. How would people get there? Oh, how are we all getting on? Lovely. So that's brilliant box. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, a pillow alien who lives on a planet made of bed covers and sheets, Sorsha. Well, have a think. See what you want to do and just put your requests in. I'll just deal with it. I'll, I'll figure out what we'll do, what we'll draw tomorrow. We'll draw something interesting, but it'll be keeping it, keeping everybody happy. Lots of space elements. Maybe we'll see, see what we can learn how to draw. Maybe stars or how to make some planets look interesting. Hmm, what else could we draw? Rockets and we could think of some more things to draw couldn't we to do with space let's have a look so um make sure then that you get your drawing requests into me and i will um just whatever they are whatever it is that the kids say that they want to draw just pop it on there and i'll figure it out um, and uh, i will see you tomorrow at 12 um and I will also pop my picture thread up as well. So if you've got any pictures um, from Space Adventures Week that you want to post up or any stories that you want to post up, please pop them on there. Um, keep them all together so everybody can see each other's because it's just lovely to be able to do that, isn't it? Um, and uh, you know, I've had videos and things in the past. If you've got, if you wanted to do a video about your space adventure, I love seeing the videos as well. Um, so um, best way to probably send that is uh, either by email. Um, my email will be on the post, or you can actually post it onto my wall if you like, and then you can share it with everybody, which is always very exciting. Um, and uh, we'll be able to see it as well. Lovely. Uh, let's see. So Sophia has called her Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. We're going to the moon. That's a great title. Love that. Some great rhyming in there, isn't there? If you think about rhyming as well, maybe you could do like flash or crash or whiz or fizz. There's lots of interesting little rhymes that you could do, isn't there? But we're, we're going thinking to do that this week. We'll do it another week. Uh, Planet Sprouts. Love that. Love that. Fantastic. So I will leave you with that. Um, please uh, join me tomorrow at 12 o'clock and um, get your cups of tea ready and uh, the kids can join join me for some drawing. Um, I'll be very excited to, to, to see you. Oh, lovely. Okay, make sure that you like my page and I'd love to see you soon. Bye. Bye, everybody.